my god it's cold heater grips on full really needed anyway hello it's been a while so I thought I'd uh, stick the camera on uh, just to show I'm still alive and still uh, still here still operating here we are so in preparation I've got the bike booked in a BMW next week they're gonna take it in give it a really good steam clean and then treat it with the um, is it ACF 50 stuff just give it a good coating to protect it through winter you know when you're driving on roads that have been treated with grit and salt and stuff that can really corrode your, corrode your pipes so um, yeah got it booked in there they're gonna do that 60 quid I know I can do it myself but I think they'll just give it a more thorough clean with the right sort of steam equipment and that kind of thing so the uh, treatment can take really well to all parts and get it nicely protected so they're going to come pick it up do it drop it back which is good because having moved house it's still a building site and there's loads of shit on the road so uh, yeah that'll be good get it all all ready for if I do go out when the weather's fine over over winter what's going on here right fine but yeah that's uh also going to get a new front fork fitted because there's a little uh, there's a little scratch on it when I picked the bike up from you so they're going to do that under warranty just to keep it looking nice so yeah that's what's going on it's uh I think it was treated yeah it was treated when I first picked it up actually back in February uh, and I just think it's a sensible thing to do keep it looking as best I can I don't do a huge amount of riding, granted, but it's just nice to have the knowledge that there's some form of protection on the bike from all the crappy roads and all the stuff that'll be on there. Let me know if you do the same. Is this something you think's worthwhile? Or am I just being a bit paranoid? Yeah, let me know. I've already got a thermal lining in the jacket but I think I'm gonna have to dig out the trousers because at the moment I've just got my jeans and my legs are freezing cold yeah so dig those out dig those bad boys out put the uh, put the lining in those in a vain effort to try and keep warm so that's the next job bike treatment suitable clothing out that should see me fine Obviously I've got the heated grips and that's all good. But yeah. Hopefully we should have some good days during the winter. Nice sunny, clear, crisp days. So I want to be able to get out and enjoy them when I can. So better to be ready for when that occurs. FFS. What's happened here? Someone driving like a twat, no doubt. God, how many policemen does it take to stand around and close a road? because of these shitty metro bus roadworks. God. I might have mentioned it before in a previous video about this bloody thing, metro bus in Bristol. Basically what it means is putting in loads of bus lanes so the buses can zoom through. What it also means is three years of roadworks, traffic jams and chaos, which no one actually voted for well not that there was a vote but no one wanted uh, it's a ball ache 
and this is quarter past one on a weekday. Imagine what it's like in rush hour. There's a big business park up here and there's also one off to the right. It's utter carnage in rush hour. And look, there's no one even doing anything. What a joke. And this is the traffic jam going the other way. Mental. Right, I've just realised I'm a total idiot and I'm actually going the wrong way home. I forgot I've moved. Now that was over two months ago, but I've uh, gone onto autopilot and am now heading uh, to the old house, which is a really stupid thing to do. This needs correcting quickly. Alright, oh, I'm such a knob. Oh well, weather's alright. And it's nice to be out the bike, so getting a long way home doesn't really matter, does it? Right then, nearly home now. So, until next time, uh, make sure you like, subscribe, or know all that stuff. Um, but yeah, keep safe, ride safe, and keep it real. So long.